Hi guys, Darla here with droidforums.net and wanted to do a quick app review today on an app by the name of Lucid Launcher. So this would be a replacement launcher from what you're using stock or maybe even if you wanted to try out another third-party launcher for those of you who might use Nova, Apex, Go. This is just another option. Um, and I should say I've been an avid Nova fan uh, generally within five minutes of getting a new phone I put Nova on and I'm good to go I don't look around much but uh, Lucid happened to catch my eye I've been running it for several days and I uh, have to say that I'm very impressed um, I am running the pro version but Lucid Launcher um, does have a free version recommend that that's the one that you start off with the pro version is just a good way to support the dev and dev uh, the developer and then to also get a few more features out of um, the app. So let's go in to the home screen. Um, pretty much it's going to look like any other home screen that you have. But it does have, um, you can have up to 10 home pages. And so if you, we'll move that up to three, um, and you go back, what's nice about this launcher, instead of doing the side to side scrolling, if you have more than one home page, this one allows you to scroll up and down. And so, to me, that's kind of a neat feature, something different. Um, you know, we're all pretty much used to that side to side. Now, it does have side to side options that if you slide to the right, you would open your app drawer. Um, and you're able to put your apps into folders. Right now there is no way to actually alphabetize the apps in the app drawer, but you can um, drag and drop apps in the actual files. And so if I wanted you know, this one to be moved somewhere else, I could just drag and drop it and go. I have not found that I can do that in the app drawer, but that's not a big deal breaker for me. I would like to have them alphabetized, but it's cool that I don't. Long press and hold allows you to add apps, um, to edit, and then to actually remove it. And to create a folder is while you're in the app drawer, you hit the menu button and you select add folder. Um, back on your home screen, if you slide to the left, I have mine set up to open my recents and so you can set that to open whatever you would like through your home page options and I should add before I do that that the stock when you download the launcher it actually the uh, swipe left is the built-in browser lucid browser and so if you want to disable the browser you have to go into manage screens You'll have a third screen here, and uh, you basically uh, long press on it, and it'll say, do you want to remove, and you would click yes, and then you could go back into your home page settings. Scroll down to the bottom is where you get your swipe actions, and so to swipe left, you would click here, and then you could pick one of these options. You could launch an app, you can toggle your notification bar, launch a shortcut, open the notification panel, open recent, start search, or not have it do anything. Um, but the launcher is very customizable. You can change the icon sizes, your label color, um, your number of rows. You can have different layouts for both landscape and portrait. And I don't mean as far as rows and columns, but I mean actually what you put on those pages if you're a landscape user, um, if you use your home screen in landscape mode. You can hide the search bar. Um, if you don't opt to hide the search bar, you can have um, custom search text that is part of the pro version. Um, icon themes, so it does support uh, different icon packs. Um, sidebar settings. You can disable this, but this is where you can have just a list of favorite apps, and it just pulls out from either the right or the left side, whichever you have it set up for. And then, of course, your app drawer settings. Again, change your icon, how much padding is around the icons, label colors, and you can also have it search for your contacts. So if you um, 
come over here into your app drawer, tap on your search, and if I wanted to type um, Verizon, it would pop up my contacts, and then I could actually go into that contact um, to make a phone call, send a message, do whatever. Um, so that's kind of a, a cool feature if you wanted to be able to search your uh, contacts with your apps. Um, and the sidebar is just like I said, it's your favorite apps that you just would like quick access to. Um, I think pretty much that is that app. Um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment um, on the forums. I'll be happy to try to answer them. And definitely check out the launcher if you just want something new to play with. or um, And then give us some feedback on what you think of the app. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you in the forums at droidforums.net.